Remember 3i Atlas, the massive, fast-moving object now hurtling through our solar system, a confirmed interstellar visitor, and the third of its kind ever observed by humanity. Since its discovery, scientists around the world have been racing to study it, and while many focus on its trajectory, its chemistry, or its coma of dust and gas, one voice has proposed something radically different, a voice that is no stranger to controversy. Professor Avi Loeb, an astrophysicist at Harvard University, former chair of the astronomy department. Loeb is widely respected and widely debated. He has built his career challenging the limits of conventional thinking. And now, he's doing it again. According to Loeb, 3i Atlas might not be a comet. It might not even be natural. It could be a technological probe sent deliberately by an intelligent alien civilization. An extraordinary claim from an extraordinary figure, and while many in the scientific community have dismissed it as speculative, others wonder, could he be onto something? Or is this just another headline? From a scientist known for stirring the pot? In this video, we explore the object, the evidence, and the mind of the man who dares to ask, what if we're not alone, and something is already watching us? Since its discovery on July 1st, 2025, 3i Atlas has proven to be no ordinary traveler. It entered the solar system at a staggering speed, 58 kilometers per second, or over 200,000 kilometers per hour, on a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it is not gravitationally bound to the sun. In simpler terms, 3i Atlas came from deep interstellar space, and it's just passing through. But what truly makes it stand out is its size. Estimates based on data from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory put its diameter at around 11.2 kilometers, with a possible margin of error of just one. This makes it, by far, the largest interstellar object we've ever detected, orders of magnitude larger than both Umamua and Borisov. And then, there's the activity, as it approached the Sun. Instruments aboard the Hubble Space Telescope captured a reddish coma, a glowing cloud of gas and dust typical of comets, indicating outgassing of volatile materials, Archival data from the Zwicky Transient Facility and Vera Rubin Observatory even revealed pre-discovery images and suggesting 3 I Atlas was already active months earlier. Based on current models and chemical analysis, the object appears to be an interstellar comet, possibly more than 7 billion years old. But that doesn't mean the story ends there. On March 16, 2026, 3 I Atlas will pass within 53.6 million kilometers of Jupiter. It's a narrow window, a fleeting cosmic moment. But orbiting Jupiter right now is a powerful scientific tool, NASA's Juno spacecraft. Originally designed to study Jupiter's atmosphere, magnetic field, and deep interior, Juno is still operational, and some now argue it should be redirected for one final mission. A chance to study an interstellar object up close. If approved, this could become the first ever close-up observation of an interstellar visitor. No distant telescope, no ground-based guesswork, just raw data from just millions of kilometers away. But the idea isn't without controversy, not because of cost or risk, but because of the motivation behind the mission. Many critics point out that the push to study 3i Atlas with Juno is heavily influenced by Loeb's alien hypothesis, and that raises difficult questions. In a scientific paper published on July 21st, 2025, Loeb, along with Adam Hibbard and Adam Kral from the Initiative for Interstellar Studies, outlined an alternative possibility, that 3i Atlas is not natural, that it may be a technological artifact designed and perhaps even guided by intelligent life. To be clear, Loeb doesn't insist this is the truth. He presents it as an academic exercise, a scenario worth testing, precisely because the anomalies demand it. So what are those anomalies? First, its sheer size. At over 11 kilometers wide, 3i Atlas is statistically rare. Most known interstellar objects are far smaller. Loeb argues that its size, coupled with its timing, suggests that this may not be a random object, but something selected or engineered. Second, its orbital trajectory. 3i Atlas follows a retrograde orbit, with low inclination relative to the plane of the solar system, allowing it to pass unusually close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. According to Loeb, the odds of such a path occurring naturally are less than 0.005%. He believes it could indicate a deliberate approach pattern, possibly for reconnaissance or mapping. Third, its solar approach geometry. On October 30th, 2025, when the object reaches its closest distance to the sun, 
It will be positioned directly opposite the Earth, hidden behind the sun's glare. Loeb suggests this could be a reverse solar oberth maneuver, a technique that would allow a spacecraft to slow down and remain gravitationally captured by the sun. Again, he argues, such a maneuver aligns more closely with controlled flight than with random gravitational motion. Fourth, its velocity. Faster than both Umamua and Borisov, 3i Atlas's speed raises further questions about its origin. Fifth, its composition. While outgassing has been detected, certain molecules typically found in comets, like hydroxyl and cyanide, are absent or below detection limits. And sixth, probability, its path, coming from the direction of the galactic center and intersecting the orbital lanes of multiple planets, has a calculated probability of just 1 in 20,000. For Loeb, it's not just one anomaly, it's a pattern. Naturally, the response from the scientific community has been mixed but mostly skeptical. Chris Lintott, astrophysicist at the University of Oxford, dismissed Loeb's claims as nonsense. Others, like planetary scientist Sarah Lawler, argue that such extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, evidence which, at this point, does not exist. Observations from Hubble, the Very Large Telescope, and other instruments continue to support a more conventional explanation that 3i Atlas is a large but otherwise natural comet comprised of familiar materials like water ice and silicates. But Loeb remains undeterred. In multiple blog posts and public interviews, he criticizes what he calls scientific gatekeeping. He warns that dismissing hypotheses before data is fully gathered is not the mark of a healthy scientific process. Instead, he argues, science must remain curious, bold, and yes, sometimes even uncomfortable. Regardless of which side you're on, there's one fact no one disputes. 3i Atlas is a rare and fleeting opportunity. Never before have we had a chance to observe an interstellar object, this large, this active, and this close. Whether it turns out to be a comet, a rogue planetary fragment, or something far more unusual, it will teach us something new about the universe. Perhaps it will offer clues about the building blocks of life, about how molecules move between stars, and about how life might emerge in distant worlds. Or maybe, just maybe, we'll find something that forces us to rethink our assumptions completely. Because for all our searching, what if we're the ones being found? In the vast silence of space, there are moments when the unknown comes to us. 3i Atlas is one such moment, and if we're brave enough to look, perhaps the universe will finally speak back. <laughs>